Okay, I just need a uh, thumbs up whenever you get a chance on audio and video. Audio and video. Okay, if you can give me a thumbs up on that, please. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to have to read the um, Fair Use from 1976. <clears throat> There's a short video that I want to play. <clears throat> short video. Shalom, shalom. Let's go. Let's go. Can't be too comfortable. Can't be too comfortable. The Spirit is telling me to say that. This is not it. Jake gets a little bit of few nice things and we've been beat down so low where we get a little nice car or a nice house we think we done made it this is it you know this is it i mean this is not it this is bullshit all right so the spirit if the spirit is on you you know that we've been robbed we've been robbed we've been robbed I had to pick up the phone yesterday. What the hell is this? Every year, are you taking more? I mean, what's going on here? Yeah, I mean, but if the spirit is not on you, you sitting in a damn you know, a used vehicle talking about I made it. Or you didn't got a promotion somewhere. The more you make, the more they take. We're putting our money in bottomless pits. This is bullshit. Jake gets a little something and his head is up high. You know, he's looking down on the rest of us. Unbelievable. The spirit is on me to say that. We've been beat down so low. We get a few, little bit of change. You know, I'm the man. I'm the man. No, you're two can Sam. Bug out. I mean, it really vexes my spirit to be a happy slave. A lot of Israelites need their ass kicked. Let me just go ahead and just say it straight up. Shalom. Barakatai Yahweh. Barakatai Yahweh shine. Barakatai Yahweh. Barakatai Yahweh shine. Call him now. Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh shine. Bahashem or God Kadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, to the 144,000. Double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, honor, and respect to the beloved and the hopeful elect of the house of Israel, of the house of David. To the beloved Aqua, listening and learning in meekness and humility, as the scriptures command to do so. To you we say, Shalom and Barakatum. <coughs> How's the sound and video? Okay, so there is a short video that I want to play, but before I do, YouTube has been very, very super sensitive. <clears throat> and I'm not going to be able to make this long. Hey, Shalom, beloved. So, <clears throat> lost my train of thought. But yeah, I mean, looking for status and position and authority and this is all temporary. First shall be last, and the last shall be first. So to be a boasting dust particle makes no sense. Little Kango hat on, little big gazelles. The gazelle glass is bigger than you. Dust particles lifted up in pride. It makes no sense. The Bible says, why is earth and ashes proud? 
Makes no sense. Big staff, you know, Kango hat, gazelles. Need a magnifying glass to see you as the person. All right? Unbelievable. <clears throat> so, let's read this disclaimer. <clears throat> yeah, we're little here. Who's big? Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is big. So, I want to read this disclaimer. And there's a short video that I want to play. <laughs> And I'm going to have to make this short. Here's the disclaimer. Copyright Act of 1976. And we're going to read this act. I do not profit or make any revenue. And none of my videos are monetized. This is only for opinion, perception, critique, education, and comment. Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use. For purposes such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research, fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing, nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. <coughs> so let's play this short video. One moment. sound on that. I think I had my microphone attached and I may have put it too close. <clears throat> Just need a uh, quick... Yep. How was the sound? Was it distorted or no? Okay, good, good. Just making sure it was not a distorted sound. <clears throat> and yeah, when your spirit is walking in the spirit, you can get vexed on what goes on throughout this earth and particularly America. It's very vexing. Anyway, the title of this lesson is Expect Greatness. Expect Great Glory. So there's been some reports that 
weird sounds have been heard in the sky. No aircraft, no visible sights, but weird sounds. No visible movement or sights. So we're entering into a period of time where great signs and wonders are going to be revealed. <clears throat> great signs and wonders. So I'm going to go to a quick few scriptures and not make this long at all. Let's go here. <clears throat> Let's go to the book of Exodus 19. <clears throat> Exodus 19, we're going to go up to the top. <clears throat> In the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. So remember, the daughter of Babylon, America, is our wilderness, our dry land. It's dried up for thirst of knowledge. So we're in a spiritual wilderness right now. But that's going to become a physical wilderness more pronounced as time goes on. Because the city of confusion is going to be broken down. Literally. <clears throat> For they were departed from Rephidim and were come to the desert of Sinai and had pitched in the wilderness and there Israel camped before the mount. So the reason I brought up those sounds, the Israelites are going to be delivered at the last trump. They've heard trumpet sounds. So Salakia, I did not go into detail. Trumpet sounds were heard. No movement, no sights, but weird trumpet sounds. Not the last trump, but like rehearsals, small sounds of it. <clears throat> but they were departed from Rephidim and were come to the desert of Sinai and had pitched in the wilderness and there Israel camped before the mount. So remember Moses saw great signs and wonders at Sinai. The children of Israel witnessed great sounds and wonders. I hadn't heard about that, brother, you see. Yeah, but I have to look into it. Yeah, weird sounds in the skies. Not to mention, large clusters of chariots have been spotted. Eyewitness accounts. I mean, it used to be you would go a year and might see one chariot. Now, every month, clusters of chariots, so-called UFOs. Exodus 19 and 2. And they departed from Rephidim and were come to the desert of Sinai and had pitched in the wilderness and there Israel camped before the mount. Got a brother from Indiana said they saw three. So whenever a commander getting ready to go to war, he sends his eyes out. They're called scouts. The scouts are conducting surveillance. They're called reconnaissance. Remember, the Lord is a man of war which includes the Ahawashai. So these eyes go out before the main body or the main assault, the main attack. Remember, the chariots are called what? The eyes of the Lord. The eyes of the Lord. So in the military, the commander calls them his eyes, also his scouts. Exodus 19 and 2. 
and Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Israel, and tell them. So the Lord does everything in order. Everything in order. <clears throat> so when we look at this thing now, the rebuilding of the Lord's temple is occurring now. The house of David. See? Moses is David. Let's read that, Brother Arian Agal. Second Chronicles 16 and 9. <clears throat> Let's get that. Second Chronicles <clears throat> 16 and 9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore from henceforth thou sh shalt have wars. <laughs> See? So these chariots are signs, wonders, indicators of major judgments to come, wars, judgment. For the eyes of the Lord run to and from throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore from henceforth thou shalt have wars. So declare ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Is that not written? So war is being waged on this kingdom, Edom. The time of the Lord's vengeance of his temple. The daughter of Zion is getting released from bondage, elect. <clears throat> Let's go back to Exodus 19. Exodus 19 See, verse 3. And Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bare you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. So these chariots are revealing themselves. Remember, the chariots showed up and was a light to the Israelites, but cast darkness on the enemies of Israel, the e Egyptians. Egyptian is synonymous with oppressor. And you can look this up on the uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics or Egyptian hieroglyphs. You can see the so-called UFOs on the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, their writings. You can look this up. I did a lesson on it, but Esau the devil is shadow banned in these lessons. But the elect is diligent. <clears throat> the elect is very diligent. These eagles' wings, the chariots, led by Yahweh the angel of the Lord before the camp of Israel. See, ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Delivered us. That's coming back around full circle in spiritual Sodom and Egypt, America, and the surrounding areas where we are scattered. Exodus 19 and 5. Now, therefore, if ye will indeed, now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. 
So the Lord is going to raise up Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is going to raise up the elect of Israel unto greatness. Irene, I'll, I'll go ahead and make you a moderator. Let's do that. Exodus 19. Go to Exodus 13 and 21. The voice is very dry. Exodus 13 and 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud. So the chariots use advanced cloud cloaking technology. These are so-called UFOs that are guiding the Israelites. Hey, that guiding light, that lamp unto our feet is Yahweh Shai, the angel of the Lord, which was became the word made flesh, walk amongst us. <clears throat> Exodus 13 and 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. But darkness was cast on the Egyptian armies. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. So the Lord was with us. So it's time for his covenant to be executed on earth. What covenant? The new covenant, which means that the Israelites are going to have God-like power, heirs with Yahweh Shai, to literally be alongside him and King David, to have the other nations under our feet. That's Psalms 149. That's the new covenant that the saints are going to sing aloud and rest upon our bed. Lord willing, I'm amongst that number. That's the kingdom. Shalom, my beloved. How about Shem Yahweh Shabbat? Let's go back to Exodus 19. Exodus 19, see, verse 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. We're not there yet. So we're not under the new covenant. We can still sin and go off. Holy means separate, sanctified, cleansed. So that spiritual cleansing is starting by being indoctrinated into the truth, born again, and baptized by the word, or immersed through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, reformed and renewed. <laughs> but the Lord is going to bring on his spirit full blown. He's going to turn up the faucet on his saints, elect. Exodus 19 and 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So Moses was commanded to speak these words unto the congregation. It said kingdom, by the way, not a queendom, a queendom. Jezebels and child pedophiles running the kingdom. Witches, okay, and big mamas wearing bonnets, speaking out against the Most High with a bonnet on. Talking about why should we accept the Most High to do whatever he want to do? Who in the world are you to criticize the Most High? 
And if that's your woman getting on a video making a, a, a speaking out against the most high, that's out of order for a man to allow his woman to do that crap. Anyway, Exodus 19 and 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. So the Lord does everything in order and according to his word, his will. And all the people answered together and said, all that the Lord hath spoken, we will do. Moses returned the words of the people unto the Lord. Well, this is a vow, a covenant of promise, a vow. <clears throat> Exodus 19 and 9, And the Lord said unto Moses, Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud, the people may hear. And the Lord said unto Moses, Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud, a chariot with fire and smoke coming out from underneath of it, that the people may hear when I speak with thee and believe thee forever. And Moses told the words of the people <coughs> unto the Lord. See, so remember when we read Psalm 68 and 17, if somebody can post that, please, that the Lord is going to show up as in Mount Sinai. You see, so what has been will be again. And there is no new thing under the sun. <laughs> remember, the Lord shall, we're going to deliver, we got to get it because I'm getting ready to butcher it. Second Ezra 15 and 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Remember, the chariots of the Lord, the so-called UFOs, are going to help bring the plague of fire. See? That descended upon Mount Sinai. So spiritual Sinai, or this mount, is America right now. Spiritual Sinai, or Sodom in Egypt, pursuant to Revelation 11 and 8. So through the Spirit, we're on that mount or near it, this government, this kingdom. Let's go to um, Psalm 68, the water for posting that. <clears throat> Psalm 68, verse 17. <clears throat> The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. See? So there's a small assembly he's going to gather in the little sanctuary of the elect. Thou hast ascended on high, thou hast led captive, captive. Psalm 68 and 18. Thou has ascended on high. Thou has led captivity captive. Thou has received gifts for men. For the rebellious also, that the Lord God might dwell among them. That's starting that new covenant in the kingdom to come. That the tabernacle of the Lord is with men that we read in Revelation 21. 
Come on, man. See, let's go to uh, Psalm 68. Only the elect can get this. We don't need to make a damn a two-hour video or a five-hour video. If the elect can get it, if you got your mouth wide open and your lips are dry and you can't close your mouth, then that's bug out and can't understand what's going on. Exodus 68, let's go to verse 4. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name and rejoice before him. So he's going to ride upon the wings of the wind, traveling in the greatness of his strength, mighty to save. The angel of the Lord is Jehoshai. See, you can't make this up. As in Sinai. So we're in that wilderness. Matter of fact, let's go here. The spirit is taking me here. I'm getting ready to tap out in about five minutes. My voice is very dry. Let's go to Isaiah 41. Yeah, this is beautiful. Isaiah 41. Let's go to verse 17. Remember when Moses smote the uh, the rock? I think it was, um, let me see here. Remember that rock is Yahweh Shai, where the waters gushed out. Remember that? Let's go here to Numbers 20. Verse 10, and Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. And he said unto them, Here now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice. And the water came out abundantly, and the congregation drank and their beasts also. So this is Yahweh Shai through the Spirit that was with Moses in the congregation in the wilderness, the fountains of living water. That's what John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And in 1 Corinthians, if I'm not mistaken, that rock, <clears throat> First Corinthians 10 and 4 and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Yahweh Yeh Shai you can't make this up remember Yahweh Shai said I will be with you always even unto the ends of the world watch this Let's go to Isaiah 41. The book of Isaiah chapter 41, verse 9. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. I have taken thee from the ends of the earth. Wow, let's go here. Watch this. See, Isaiah 41, verse 17. When the poor and needy seek water, say what? When the poor and needy seek water. Remember Moses smote the rock. That's Yahweh Shai that's flooding the elect with his spirit of understanding in the last days, starting in America. Isaiah 41, verse 17. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers in high places. That's mounts. We're in that mountain. 
the daughter of Babylon, America, spiritual Sodom in uh, Egypt. We're in that mountain area right now. Isaiah 41 and 18. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. That's the valley of the dry bones coming to life. The elect, his saints, the tabernacle of David is being restored to greatness, to glory, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh We can't just read this Bible with our mouth wide open, thinking about our goddamn investments. You see, or whose woman we're going to pop. The Lord is going to kill some of you damn people out here, man. Well, how much money are you going to gross this year from teaching the gospel? I almost said something I had to catch myself. It's not about how much money we can gain by a, a damn debate. Let's go back to Exodus 19, verse 8. And the Lord said unto Moses, Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with thee, and believe thee forever. And Moses told the words of the people unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes. Hey, we're being washed in the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, putting on the robes and garments of praise, the garments of righteousness. Somebody ain't that oh. Oh, oh, man, I'm getting excited. This is too much. This is too much. Let's go to Revelation 16. Revelation 16, verse 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. So through the spirit, we're being washed by the word of Yahweh Shai. Oh, oh, oh this is, it's too much. It's too much. Let's read that again. Revelation 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame, still being a nigger, and talking about how much money you're going to make this year, focused on that instead of the gospel. The Lord is going to kill you. Or doing a debate to try to gain popularity and fame and more revenue. Let's go back to Exodus 19. Judgment must start within the Lord's sanctuary. Exodus 19 and 10. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes. See? To be cleansed. That's happening by the word. Making preparation for the bridegroom. To be made ready to meet him in the sky, in the air. Exodus 19 and 11, and be ready against the third day. For the third day, the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon, <laughs> upon Mount Sinai. So the Lord is going to descend with a shout and a great sound of the trumpet upon Edom. Who will lead me into Edom, which is Sodom? which is spiritual Sinai, the wilderness. Salakia. Exodus 19 and 11. And be ready against the third day. 
or the third day, the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. Revelation 1 and 7. Every eye is going to see the glory of the Lord. And when he raised up his saints, he let. Yeah, let's read that for niggas. And I don't give a damn if you get offended. Okay? I really don't. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. I want to do more, but the Lord is like, don't say certain things. Because a lot of our men are bitch-made men. Bemus. Bitch-made men of America. Bemus. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 13. We stay at the bottom because of men that are not sincere. 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves how that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is in you? Except ye be reprobates. See? Oh, I know. Soft. Unbelievable. You can't lean on a broke back. Because if you do, you're going to either lose your balance, fall, or get tipped over, or just sink into him. A roasted marshmallow. Okay? Soft as hell. Led by emotions and feelings. Feelings. Talking about feelings. Number one hit by Apostle Gabar. These men are bugged out of their damn mind, raised by their mama. They got paid to kick the father's ass out. We know how, whether that's true, looking at you. Let's keep going. We got to get ready to wrap this up. You know a fruit by its tree. I mean, you know a tree by the fruit that it bears. That's how we recognize trees. Exodus 19 and 12. And thou shalt set bounds unto the people round about, saying, Take heed to yourselves, that ye go not up into the mount, or touch the border of it. Whosoever toucheth the mount shall be surely put to death. See, so the Lord is dealing with order of that hierarchy and that head is Moses. And there shall not a hand touch it, but he shall surely be stoned or shot through. Whether it be beast or man, it shall not live. When the trumpet soundeth long, they shall come up to the mount. And Moses went down from the mount unto the people and sanctified the people and they washed their clothes. So the Lord is making ready his congregation of the saints, elect, the tabernacle of David, his church. And bitch made men are going to be found out, okay, and sifted uh, to help keep us grounded at the bottom, bottom feeders. Shrimp, crab, and lobster niggas. When you look at that parable that Yehoshua told, that the net, being this word, this gospel, was cast into the sea and brought up every kind. You know, all types of fish without scales and crab, shrimp, and lobster. All right, dirty, crusty type individuals. Grimy as hell. But they're going to be cast into the fire or thrown back to be devoured in the mire of the people's multitudes, nations, and tongues. The daughter of Babylon, spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Hopefully, hopefully this lesson has been edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem or Kakadash. The tabernacle of David is being rebuilt and restored bigger, better, faster, and stronger than ever. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh See you on the next lesson, Lord Woman. Come Yashirala and Bye Baba Shalom.